Data Point Integration Online After assigning devices, we see the structure element default site in the hierarchy. In order to operate data points and plants with the help of the DCGO control point, it's necessary to integrate the data points. So go to Tools and Data Point Integration. Here, we see a list of all assigned devices. It is possible to select each device and deselect them one by one or all devices in one shot. With the template, it's defined which type of data point will be integrated for that specific type of device. We recommend to use extended operation for the DCGO PX devices and standard operation for room automation devices. It would be possible to edit the existing template, but this operation is not recommended as those changes would be persistent in case, from HQ, some updates on the default templates would be performed. However, it is possible to create customized template starting from default once. To do that, it's firstly required to cache the device in order to read the content. So, click on Cache. A maximum of 8 devices can be simultaneously cached. In case we have more of 8 devices, it's required to proceed stepwise. Caching of the devices requires memory of the DCGO control point device. The memory can be manually released by clicking the specific command, Release Cache. After that, the device can be cached again to read the content and change the data point selection for the integration. Due to the fact, the cache of the device depends on the number of the BACnet objects, the cache operation can take several minutes, that can be a bit annoying for the commissioning phases. For that reason, an option to configure the automatic memory release with a configurable timeout is available in order to fit the engineering and commissioning needs. We will see this option afterward once the integration dialog will be closed. Once the device is cached, we can proceed by clicking Advanced. From the list here, we can choose which data point we want to include or exclude from the integration. It's also possible to define further filters or advanced rules to use template. The customized template can be saved with a specific name by clicking Save. Then, define a name for the template. Further information about these functionalities are deeper described in the specific video dedicated to the templates. Confirm the changes with Apply. With Organize Templates, it's possible to export existing templates delete customized templates, or even import new ones from external files. Close this window to come back to the integration procedure. Now, select the required devices and integrate. After the integration is completed, it's indicated, and also the usage of the space from the DCGO control point device. Go back to operation and verify the elements in the building structure. As we mentioned before, the system gives the possibility to define a timeout and of end of which, the memory busy for the cache devices can be automatically released. We can find it by click on Tools and Settings. Select here in the list, Data Point Integration. Define the timeout that can be extended for a maximum of 720 minutes. This feature will make easier the commissioning procedure.